What do you think about uh, how can we, you know, exercise? What's the prescription? What's the program? How often? How much? What's the key? Which which organs are you know most important to rescue from being uh, damaged or jeopardized from uh, spaceflight? On a two, three year, how are you going to how are you going to monitor all this? All good questions. Uh, Harking back to what we just talked about, now, right now on ISS for people who stay up there, you know, anywhere from three to six months and upwards to a year, depending on the missions, they exercise two, two and a half hours a day. I mean, that's their prescription. And some people exercise a little bit more. Some people like exercise more than others. You know, everybody. Some people like to exercise. Some people don't. But um, as you call it a prescription, uh, it's going to have to be a prescribed, almost like a medical treatment for people, regardless of if you like it or not, you're going to have to do this to stay healthy. And you talked about other organs, that's a good point. I mean, the muscle, the heart will degenerate too if you don't exercise. You know, cardiovascularly um, is the main way to keep the heart strong. Um, and resistive exercise, it's hard, it's hard to get the heart to do resistive exercise, except it really does when it beats more and you increase cardiac output and you increase, you know, aerobic capacity, so to speak. Um, that's going to have to be looked at for sure. You know, how to keep an aerobic capacity at a certain point and how to keep uh, a strength level based on, you know, how much you can squat or how much you can deadlift or, you know, press or something like that. There's got to be uh, a standardized test to see, you know, what you do before you go up versus what you do when you come back. But um, radiation is a big problem uh, on the other organs, the, the non-muscular organs, so to speak, uh, throughout your whole body. So that has to be looked at too. Um, so it's a question of, you know, figuring out uh, a complex mix of nutrition, uh, maybe uh, genomic uh, manipulation, you know, because we're going to get to the point where, you know, you talked about upregulation, downregulation. We may have to get to the point where we start looking at um, artificially modifying what happens in the space and going in with drugs or some kind of therapy that that stops that up and down regulation that tries to keep people more like what they were on the ground while they still exercise uh, because even if you do exercise you are going to lose some muscle mass you are going to lose some bone mass in your pelvis and your lower spine um, and you can steady state that get to a certain point if you keep that up but maybe we can actually boost that to keep ground levels now, if we had artificial gravity on board, which we don't, but many of you have seen the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey, 2010, uh, rotating spheres or rotating drums, where you may not be able to get one G, but even if you can get a half a G, maybe half a G is enough to maintain that. Um, and I, I believe that, you know, early on, if we go to Mars, we may not have that. Uh, and we're going to be looking at just machines to do resistive exercise and they're going to have to be intense exercises and probably people are going to have to exercise for more than two hours a day and the question is with a limited amount of space and crew and trying to stow food and water and consumables and atmosphere and all that where do you put an exercise machine and that's a problem right now in orion just for the short missions trying to figure out what the exercise machine will be and even where it's going to go and if you do get it there is there even going to be room in the capsule in the volume you have to exercise and do what you need to do while other people have to live and operate? It's a big problem. So I think um, we're going to have to come up with novel solutions based around exercise, but encompassing nutrition, genetic manipulation, drugs, uh, hormonal therapy, all of that to keep people healthy while they travel in space.